What's poppin'? I'm out in my kayak right now and I'm about ready to catch some bass. More specifically, I'm gonna be throwing a Nico rig for some bass. As you know, I am a big time finesse fisherman. Usually I like the Ned rig, but today I wanna focus in on the Nico rig and talk a little bit about what I like and don't like about it, some of the places that I like to fish it, so on and so forth. So rather than sit here and ramble, let's rig one up and get started. The first thing is you need is your rod and reel. Um, obviously I prefer spinning because this is a light line application. It is totally a finesse approach. The next thing is you're gonna want a hook. This is the one I chose. I honestly use the same type of hooks that I use for wacky rigs. I know that you can get Nico specific hooks, but I've never had any issues using something like this. Now, obviously we just need a plastic. Because the water's kind of stained, I'm actually gonna go with a little bit bigger profile plastic to displace more water. Here we go. Look at that, looks good. This is a uh, Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm in watermelon candy. Now before I rig it up, I'm gonna go ahead and put a nail weight in it. I bought these nail weights a long time ago. They were honestly just super cheap and that's why I bought them. They seem to work just fine. I believe these ones are 1 16th and these ones are like maybe a uh, 3 32nd or something like that. I'm gonna go with this size right here and then you just poke it in the head of your plastic like so. These ones have a ball on the end of them. Not all of them do, but if it has a ball on the end of it, you can just let it stick out. If it doesn't, you can engulf the entire thing in the plastic. Your bait's gonna be like this in the water, so you want your hook to be like that. Right down the back, up and straight in line with the plastic. And there you have it. There's like a dock here and um, it's definitely kind of flooded. So I'm just gonna work this around this wood dock. The water's actually a little bit dingier than I was expecting, so I'm gonna have to be patient. The thing with finesse approaches is they don't displace a ton of water, and so a lot of times it can take a little while for those fish to find your fishing lure. And that actually leads me into my next point. I would consider this a cover-oriented presentation. What I mean by that is I am going to be fishing targets with it. Rather than fishing big weed edges or fishing big pieces of structure, I'm usually gonna fish like specific targets, like a dock, or a brush pile, or a tree, so on and so forth. In my opinion, a Ned rig or a drop shot works better for covering water. Just to kind of go over what a Nico rig is gonna do underwater, obviously with that nail weight, it's gonna sit like that. And then when you shake it, it's obviously gonna twitch that tail. I will say one thing, you do not need to work a bait like this very hard. A very, very finesse shaking of the rod tip is all it really takes, think about it. How often do you see a bait fish like just twitching like hardcore and moving like crazy? They're very natural and flowy in the water. So I would say with your baits, you really wanna be as natural as possible. And the way to do that is to have a, like a little bit of slack line, not too much, and just kind of shake that slack line. Don't try to shake your plastic because if you're shaking your plastic, you're probably putting way too much action in it. I can get away with a little bit more today just because the water is a little dingy and I wanna kind of call them in. I'm gonna go fish docks. Your back side of this dock, right there. Come on, right on that corner post. Come get it. You can't tell. There he is. God, he just, oh, daggummit. I didn't set the hook quite hard enough. I mean, you don't have to set the hook too hard, but I just did not do a good job burying that puppy. He was right where he was supposed to be, but that was the most subtle bite. All of a sudden, my bait just didn't feel right. And essentially what happened there is I believe he bit on the fall. There he is. <laughs> Oops. Ah, oh, daggummit, he took my worm. I launched him into the side of the kayak and it's just a little dink. So I set the hook pretty hard and I just launched him into the side of my kayak. Well, sorry, buddy. You know what? He took my daggum worm. That kind of annoys me. There he is. I popped it off some grass and he smacked it. That was a little bit better hook set right there. And it's a nicer fish. Solid little bass. I popped him right in the nose. That is literally a perfect hook set. It doesn't get better than that. Well, I popped it off a little weed in between two docks. And as soon as I popped it out of that weed, this guy just smacked it. You know, probably about 15 inches. He's real fat though, nice and healthy. See ya, buddy. Whether you're fishing a Nico rig or just about anything else, if you start feeling your bait through some weeds and you feel like you might start to snag, give it a good pop, but be ready as soon as you do that because a lot of times that'll actually trigger a bite. If anybody wants to be the person that just like follows me and plays good music and throws me beers, that'd be cool. Speaking of beers, I actually brought a beer today. After my next bass, I'm gonna crack open that one beverage that I brought. I'm sure it's getting nice and hot, so I need to hurry up and drink it. Hmm. I'm starting to think that maybe I should go try to find some of the deeper docks on the lake. I wonder if these ones are just a little shallower than the fish are positioned. I wish the bass were on the docks a little bit more. It doesn't seem like they're super active on the docks right now. There's one. There's one. This one was on a dock. Right on the front of it. Oh, it's a pike. What? Wait a second. Yeah, it's a daggum pike. I did not expect a daggum pike. 
Man, I got him right in the front of the nose. Do not thrash. Little stink. All right, there we go. Daggum pike, man. Interesting. Okay, well, I guess today's a multi-species kind of day. I did tell myself that after my next fish, I could have a beer. After a pike, I should definitely have a beer. We're gonna make some moves here. I'm not really feeling this area. Today's beer of choice, Founder Solid Gold. I tell you what, it was cold when I left my house. This puppy is definitely gonna be a nice warm beverage. Don't know why I'm doing this, other than the fact that I just caught a pike and I feel like I need a beverage. You know what? Tastes delicious. I would consider the temperature moderately cool. It tastes great. It tastes great. All right, we're gonna go fish the steepest docks on the lake. Maybe those are the ones that are gonna pay off. I'm thinking hopefully these ones do better than some of those shallower docks we've already fished. There's a bite. That was a pike. Frickin' pike. Argh. Pike, man. There's a bite. There he is, got him. I can't tell how big he is, coming right at me. Just a little guy, dadgummit, he threw my worm. Man, I'll tell you what, man. When they throw your worm, it's a real letdown. Pop them. Right in the top of the jaw right there. Beautiful fish. Just about like that other one I caught. All right, see ya, homie. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling real good. I'm kind of annoyed of how many freaking worms I've lost. I've never had it be this bad, though. Maybe it's just this style worm. It, because it's so dense, it just flings right off the hook super easy. There's totally a lawnmower right there, so I apologize for the audio. No way. No freaking way. I kind of wrapped my worm around that dock. I was going over there, I pulled on it, and the worm came off the dock. And then this guy bit it like as soon as it hit the water. What the heck? Man, I popped him right in the roof of the mouth though, I tell you that much. All right, okay, yet another fish. All right, we're gonna switch worms. This time I'm just gonna use a plain black like finesse worm. I'm going with a black color because obviously the water clarity is pretty stained. This worm is a lot less dense than the other one, so I'm hoping that I don't lose as many worms. Little weed bed right there, come on. Gotta be something in that. Oh, there's a bite. There he is. It almost felt like a bluegill bite, man. It was such a light little bite. Not very big, but nice and fat, nice and healthy. And he did not get rid of my worm. Not a giant, but a healthy looking bass, man. See you, buddy. Whew. So a lot of these recent bites, I'll have a little bit of slack in my line, but I'll just feel a pink. And then uh, I reel down my slack and just pop them. Couple of things I haven't really talked about. One, rod specs. I'm currently using a seven foot six medium, medium light rod. It's kind of like a in between medium light and medium. If I'm throwing a Nico rig, I'd probably go with a medium rod. And I don't think you need a seven foot six. I would probably go with anywhere from six, six to seven foot. Usually you're gonna be fishing in the shallows and you're gonna be making shorter casts. So you want something that's gonna be accurate. I really don't think it matters a whole lot to be completely honest with you. I guess it depends on how you fish it. If you wanna make really long casts, I guess go some Something a little longer. If you want something that's going to be super accurate where you're throwing it around docks and whatnot, go with something a little shorter. As far as fishing line goes, just the same as every other finesse presentation, I like 10 pound braid with a fluorocarbon leader. The other thing is I really, really like the high viz. That allows me to detect bites that I don't feel because I'll see my line move. It is almost time to get going. I'd like to catch one more fish. It's game time. We gotta end the day with another fish. Let's go. Hey, fishy, 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 come on. Come on, there's gotta be one on that weed bed. That looks too good. There's shade there, there's a bite. There he is. I knew there was gonna be a fish there. Doesn't feel bad. He's trying to dig. Ooh, decent one. I think this is gonna be the best fish of the day. Ending on the best fish of the day. Let's go. Thick Mama Juicy. All right. Decent one. Oof. I knew there'd be a fish there. Would you look at that? Best fish of the day. Thick Mama Juicy. I tell you what, that's a great way to end it. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to spray water on me.
All right, I tell you what, today was kind of a grind there for a while, but I think we did all right. I caught some nice fish. I caught several fish. Overall, my goal is to show you that the Nico rig is yet another great finesse fishing technique. I think it was strange how many freaking worms I lost today. I wouldn't consider that normal. Today was just a weird day. Whew, that sun is bright. Why am I not wearing my sunglasses? That's way better. Okay, I can see again. Overall, man, my suggestion is just go out and try the thing. I guarantee you will like it. You just gotta be patient with it because it is kind of a goofy bait but if you fish it next to cover where you think bass are and you're patient you're gonna catch fish i'm gonna go reward myself with a burrito i feel like i worked hard out here and i deserve a burrito i hope you do the same go get a burrito go get a burrito and have a great day we'll see ya